Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, let's give some 1v3s on Widow's Court and Attempt. I am trying out the Trial Sniper Eye of Soul because it's got this perk called Celerity on it. Gain the following effects, increase target acquisition, increase handling, reload, reduce flinch from incoming fire. These all occur when I'm the last Guardian standing, which obviously if I'm doing a 1v3, that's going to be the situation. As far as an energy weapon, I don't have any energy weapons Welcome I feel good about going with. I'm going with Hard Light because it's nuts, but... Without a last word or, any, or a sidearm, I'm not really going to have the ability. I could use a sidearm. I'm not going to have the ability to really guard myself up close. So, I'm trying hard light, but I might want to swap to something different. Anyway, 1v3 Widow Court. Here we go. Widow's Court. Against uh, three dudes. Who, well, I don't know much about them. Up, there go my dudes down, blasting themselves in the spawn. I'm using Spectral instead of Tether because it's a better super. Jesus! Hello across the map, Suppressor. Anyway, it's a better super, and also I like the ability to get a crouching headshot and go invis. I need to get away from them while I don't have the ability to jump or shade step. See if I can find myself a pick somewhere. Okay. I can see through walls now for a second. Which is good for that reason. I'm gonna go pick up this ammo. We got two down. This guy didn't even drop me special. Last guy's heart scope over here. Bodied him. Would love to get this kill before I give him a chance to snipe him. I am hitting him, so he's gonna stay weak. That was, that was a little scary. All right, good. We got a little bit of ammo. We won the first round. They were split on this first one, which is definitely a good thing. It was definitely um, a good thing that I could see through walls. That's, I think, why Spectral maybe makes sense for the 1v3s. You get a head snipe, and all of a sudden you can see where the players are. That's a massive advantage. Okay, we know where they are. They saw me too. I was not expecting to be standing on that wall. This is the second time he's done that. One of them not dropping special also means it's going to be harder to have ammo throughout the game. I don't want to get myself surrounded. I'm going to back up. I know this, there's too many. There's one on left, one on right. If I stay there, they just close in. Me moving around means there's maybe a chance of me finding a pick somewhere. Me shooting at one of them might create panic in them too and make them move around. But it's looking like very little is going to make them move around right now. I'd love to find a pick. Okay, someone's sniping me from across the map. I don't know why that guy took so long to die. Okay, what the heck was that movement? That dude just blew himself up. Okay, so last guy, I had no idea where he is. I got sniped at from across the map. I don't want to just, like, leave these reses. I don't want to run in and out and get left, sniped, but friend. I want to find out where he is. I want to move around on radar until I have an idea. I have no idea where he is. This is really freaking me out. Truly zero idea. This map is so big I can run around in circles and not get anything on radar. Where is this man? Is he in their spawn? I don't like that so much supers being built up right now, but I also don't want to just run away from the revives. 30 seconds left. And honestly, it's already a bad idea for me to be running around like this because he could be anywhere hard scoped and my face could be gone. I see him. Okay, he's underneath the uh, the apartments. Enemy team is good. Okay, if they keep saying split up like this, this is a good opportunity for me. I'm also going to get my spectral pretty soon. Which makes, which is great. Having a super that actually is good you is a great me. thing. This they do have a suppressor team. on their team. So I'm going to be aware Guardian of down. that when it comes to my spectral. But we're not there yet. Let's focus on this round for now. Trying to get this pick if he does move in front of my snipe. He doesn't seem to be wanting to challenge that. Let's see if we can get an angle here. He might be on gazebo. Okay, he's behind a titan wall. I did see one on my radar over here. Maybe someone's isolating themselves to the left. There's at least one left. I'm a little scared of that angle. Now that I've shot that way, they might not expect me to come back to the right. I do have Spectral. If they get a little bit closer, I'm just going to gun it. Let's go for it. Yeah, I need to get my health back. Yeah, I can see where he is. Okay, we got a 1v1 now. I had no idea that guy was still on me. One minute left. Okay, one guy. Lost. It's not 
That's the problem with using a hard light. A mid-range weapon allows for somebody to close the gap on me super easily. That freaking melee blinded me and I had no idea what was going on. Kind of thought I was still going to spray him down. Oh well. I'm fine losing that round. That kind of hurts a little bit because they're going to get supers and it's going to get rough and there goes a bunch of my special ammo, but that's alright. This is like my first real attempt of a 1v3 on this map. I think I'm learning that hard light's not the way. I'd love to get heavy ammo, but that might not be the easiest thing in the world. Hmm. Oh my god. What? That was a horrible snipe by me. Maybe they'll push up. I almost want to use a Titan wall, man. Across the map, sniping. Oh shit, bad time. He didn't drop any ammo for me. I gotta try to get my health back. I need to go into my dim and find myself a, a sidearm so I can survive more of these fights. I really do believe that giving myself a sidearm in these situations is going to give me a better chance of winning. Hard light's great for the mid-range games. For the mid-range fights. But it's not really doing anything for me. Ooh. When I need to protect myself up close. I also need to be a little bit less panicky with the sniper shots. I'm firing it like I'm going to get killed no matter what. Sure. These players might hit snipes every once in a while, but I need to be a little bit more precise in my shots and not so panicked. Okay, they've got arc blade. I've got to be in a position where it's gonna easy, gonna be easy for me to rotate out. I don't know how to get a pick. I'm not really seeing anyone. Hmm. Okay, there's a pick. Arc Strider's probably in this corner here. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna back up and try to continue to guard the res. If possible. That's gonna be pretty tough to get away with. Or get away from. Normally, it's even extra hard right now with no shade step. He seems like he doesn't really know how to gain distance though, which is good. Only problem is he's pushing me right towards his teammates. Last guy's bodied. Woo! I don't care that I burned out. I'm gonna win that round. Ah! That was terrifying, dude. My heart's beating out of my chest right now. Alright, well, it's 3 2. They burn one of their supers. Incoming Dawnblade and incoming Sentinel. I didn't get any extra special ammo out of that because unfortunately I went down at the end. Good nade on their part. Okay, we got at least one to the right. Sentinel's gonna be harder to get away from than, uh, than Strider is, I believe. Hmm, I don't like my positioning. Okay, I got body, but it's fine. It's just Sentinel I gotta deal with. Cut in the corners is gonna make it harder for him to catch up to me. Throwing the Sentinel shield, and there is a teammate waiting for him. Or for me. I'm gonna keep going. Put that there, make it harder for him to chase me. There's a guy in front of me, too. I'm in a horrible spot. Yeah. That's right. They use the super to push me around there. If they all stay together when they're in their super, I can rotate around and try to survive. But if they don't all push, then they're going to separate. And then it's one guy in front of me and a super behind me and kind of not much I can do. Dawnblade versus my Spectral. I have no confidence in my Spectral abilities. I'm still pretty darn new to a Spectral. I don't think I'm going to be able to outplay a Dawnblade. If I find myself near them, I can just pop, but if that Dawnblade does pop as well, it's going to be tough for me. Okay. I might just let them just kill me here and not waste my time. I missed some easy snipes there. I have soul, you can see, I've used very little. It's a brand new sniper for me. The, sco the scope feels way different than what I'm used to. So I'm missing some shots that I would probably normally hit. We're gonna push in towards Broken Building, hopefully pop Spectral. They've used- <laughs> I deserve that. I should have pushed right. If you push right, there's no snipe lane that you can get hit. 
I didn't expect to get hit. These guys haven't landed any really nice shots all game. My plan was to push right. I was going to go towards Broken Building, try to pop Spectral. Hopefully have a good 4v4 round when it's tied up and there were no supers. But the man landed the snipe. Jesus, what are you going to do? One fight. There will be many more. Hindsight, obviously, that I pushed the the, to the right. I keep right. my head out of the snipe lane, but I made a mistake. Anyway, still adjusting to IO Soul. Going to maybe try this with sidearms instead of hard lights. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If, uh, if you're seeing this video on YouTube... I'm sad right now. That's okay. I'm str I'm probably streaming on Twitch at the moment. So check out the description. There's a Twitch link in there. Click that link. Come say hi on Twitch. There's a lot of people hanging out.